evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Friday Night is Organ Music There. And that was a special request for someone. Someone requested Beethoven's Turkish March and said, can you play it at the beginning, please, because I won't be there for long. So, there you are. Anonymous request it is. Thank you very much indeed for that. Uh, and thank you for sending me the music. Uh, yes. I, <laughs> for some reason, my winky blinkies isn't working, although it's turned on. It's refusing to work for some reason. Why isn't it working? It's turned on, but when I blink at the camera, it's not turning pages for me. That's going to be good tonight, because my goodness me, we've got lots of things to get through. Right, ladies and gentlemen, fun and games tonight. Unlock the organ live, apparently it says. Yeah, look at this, the new lighting. It looks good, doesn't it? At least I think it does. I hope you enjoy it. Um, we're still working at setting up these new lights. This one down here is absolutely fine. Uh, this one up here, it's weird. It's big. That's rather nice. Makes a lovely, makes a lovely, a better light, better quality light, I think. Looks better. Focus is better. Anyway, I'm rambling. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you're all doing very well and have had a wonderful week. My goodness me, it's been a very busy week here in Gartrower land. Oh, a very busy week indeed. We've hardly been at home this week, so uh, oh, tough times, but got to get through. Um, so that's all very good fun. Um, let me see if I can change some settings here while I'm talking at you. <laughs> um, so yes, I hope you're doing very, very well indeed. Ah, here we go. There we go. That's better. Let's turn that up and let's try that. No, it doesn't like that. Is it on? It's not on. No, it is. Ah, now it's working. Good. Perfect. Um, tonight, unlock the organ live. We've got lots of requests, we've got lots of fun music, we've got some very special music, and we've got some very secret music. And this is where the fun begins. We had a little experiment on Sunday night. I wonder if you noticed. We had an experiment on Sunday night. And the experiment was, if we sell a certain amount of tickets during the live performance, we would, we have some already, uh, we would play something from our secret collection of long-awaited requests. Over the years, over the years, people request pieces of music. And believe it or not, we are very organized and we write down, well, we don't write them down, we copy them and put them all in a spreadsheet. And all of these requests with names of who they're for, sometimes they're anonymous, sometimes they're for real people with real names, um, we have everything collected and whenever we play one of those requests we always remove it from the list because we've played it, we've done it. Now this list is getting longer and longer and longer and longer by the week. Uh, people keep requesting things and we can't play everything. Yeah? Sometimes things come in spontaneously and sometimes they're easy enough that I can just sight read straight through them during the concert and that's fine. However, some things are requested that are slightly more difficult, considerably more difficult in fact. And a lot of people, well, it's an organ world, so a lot of people think we have to play Bach all the time. Now, you know me, I have a personal problem with Bach. I just can't play it. Um, so a couple of months ago, a few people behind my back came up with the idea of, well, we were going to call it something like cauliflower of the week. But we're not going to do it of the week. We're going to do it of the month. So last Sunday night was a bit of an experiment. So what we're going to do, we have a two-tier system. Aha, this is where the fun begins. Now, um, hold on, I've got a graphic somewhere. At least I think I have a graphic. Hold on, do I have a graphic? Yes, I do. Now, how do I switch this graphic on? Will this work? Will this work? Ta-da! It works. There you go. Right. Okay, so here we are. Here's how it works. I have to read this off this screen, you see. <laughs> That's clever. This is Vanessa's idea. All right. If, ladies and gentlemen, during this evening's performance, we sell 25 tickets. That's... That's healthy. If we sell 25 20 secret, then I do some secret sight reading. Okay, so Vanessa has a piece of music in mind. If we reach the 25 minutes, she will send me the piece of music to my iPad. And I have to sight read it no matter what it is. So that's, that's that. That's going to be exciting. However, however, she said also everyone requests Bach, or lots of people request different things like Bach. So to make it worth, does that say 50 or 30? It says 50. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Thank God for that. All right. If we were to sell 50 tickets, then I would do some Bach sight reading. 
and apparently she has a piece of Bach ready for me to sight read and she says it's not one of the easy ones. That's all she's told me. She didn't tell me any more than that. <gasps> so this is going to be interesting. Right, ladies and gentlemen. So, oh my goodness. Some of us may match the tickets. What does that mean? What does that mean, Joe? What does that mean? You will match the tickets. What does that mean? So if someone buys 25, does that mean you buy another 25? Don't you dare. <laughs> Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Um, I love you all. But um, friendships can uh, <laughs> friendships can definitely uh, be tested with things like that. All right, shall we leave that on screen for now then? Let's leave that on screen. Okay, now before Uza Mayor starts, let me let me do my let me. Ah, <gasps> <laughs> wait, do you see this? Right, Vanessa's Vanessa's been cheeky today. Vanessa prepared all of this for me, and she says all I have to do is copy it and paste it. Right, get ready for this. Get ready for this. This is my darling wife, everybody. This is my darling wife. Look at that. Want to see Fraser struggle? Get your virtual ticket here. That's nice, isn't it? That's really nice. That's really nice. That's really nice. Okay. Time to buy a ticket or two. Right. Okay. Okay. This could be this. This could backfire on me. I shouldn't have said too much, really, should I? Right. So far, ladies and gentlemen. We have three tickets, okay, three. We have got a ticket from Will. Willie, thank you very much indeed from Will. We have a ticket from, who, who did, who did? From Alexander, thank you very much, Alexander. And Gabor has bought us a ticket as well. Thank you very much to all three of you. That is very kind. That has got the ball rolling. One, two, three. Okay, now Vanessa is, oh my goodness, you're buying each other, you're buying each other memberships now. Okay, that doesn't count as tickets. <laughs> or does it? Does that count as tickets? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to speak to the boss about that. She's downstairs with the bundle of joy. I will have to see. We'll have to see what this is all about. My goodness me. Isn't that exciting? Thank you, Cam. Cam is, um, is buying people memberships. Gosh, that's interesting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I will speak to the management and see if that is considered uh, 20 euro in one euro tickets. What does that mean? 20 euro in one euro tickets. I don't understand what Gleiswanderer means by that, but a very exciting insert. Okay. No, it doesn't count as a ticket, says Cam himself. Cam, that's even better. Thank you. Good. Ah, phew. <laughs> All right, who's this? This is Werner. Thank you very much, Werner. That's very kind. All right, one, two, three, four. I wish we could have live graphics so we could put a live graphic up there so you could see how many are sold so far. We can work on that. We'll work on that to get some live graphics going. Right, ladies and gentlemen, on with the music. Now, we also had a request for a piece of music that I actually composed myself. And I think it's in here. Yes, it is. There it is. My, my prelude in D. Remember this? I composed a piece of music, prelude in D, a long time ago. And um, it became very, very popular here on, it became very, very popular here on um, YouTube. And a number of people around the world have played it as well, which I think is very exciting and it's very flattering. Uh, but I myself haven't played it for absolutely ages. And I still haven't played it on this organ. This is the magnificent instrument in Billerbeck tonight. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, I have solved the clicking, popping problem in the background. Let's see. Here's some soft music then. Prelude in D, by me.
that's a good organ to play this kind of music on, isn't it? My Prelude in D, <laughs> very aptly named Prelude in D, is actually a prelude on a piece of music um, from the, uh, the hymnal, the, the church hymnal here in Germany. And it's a crazy piece of music. Let me play it for you. And sure. Actually, oh, we've had some more tickets. Oh, we've had lots of more tickets. Oh, damn it. Right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, we're up to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, ten, sorry, we're up to ten. I beg your pardon. Right, so thank you to... Christian, very kind. Thank you to Cameron. <laughs> Thank you to Joe. Mr. Humans, don't know how much a ticket costs. Well, that's very kind of you to imagine it costs that much. Thank you very much indeed, Joe. That's very kind indeed. Wow. Thank you very much. Jürgen. Thank you very much, Jürgen. Oh, hold on, there's more on that. Who else we get? Ian. Another Ian. Is that two Ians? No, that's Ian. We've got Ian. We've got Ian. Thank you very much indeed. So that was Christian. Uh, Cam, Joe, Ian, and Jürgen. Is that right? Uh, no, we've got Marek as well. Marek, thank you very much as well. Marek, wonderful. Ah, oh, good heavens. Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, we're up to ten, ladies and gentlemen. Ten tickets. <gasps> Exciting. And yes, obviously, once we reach 25, then those 25 still count. It's only another 25. We don't have to get, we don't start again and then 25 plus 50. It's not 75. Good God, no. Um, Michael Thielen, ich hätte lieber 75. Yeah, that's true. I'm Scottish. I, if you want to buy 75 tickets, feel free. I'm not going to argue with that. No, no. If we get a max, if we get 25 and then another 25 to make it 50, that's right. But yeah, oh, wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. If you want to buy me 75 tickets, ladies and gentlemen, I would not be disappointed. <laughs> not be disappointed. So yeah, so that's the fun of this. Now we're not going to do this every week because it's going to be very expensive. But we're going to do this. Um, we're going to do this once a month at least, maybe once a fortnight if it proves rather popular. Actually, I, why am I even saying that? Because I don't know what's coming here. It could be anything. What am I doing in this hymn book? Oh yes, uh, it could be anything, and I will probably live to regret this. But as long as you're having fun watching me squirm and struggle, that's fine. Um, I can't even remember. I can't remember the number. I'm so confused with my own life. Um, what's it called? Uh, da -de 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 -de. Where is it? It's in here somewhere. There it is. 825. Thank you very much. Right. This is a piece of music that is... It's, um, so you heard me just play my Prelude in, Prelude in D there. And the actual piece of music it's based on is this. Something completely different. forgot that graphic is in the way when I change the cameras there so I will remove that when I do that in the near future I think there's a way of doing it 
telling the cam telling the camera or telling the switcher to remove that when it changes to that camera. But I've, I'm not going to work that out. Isn't that a funky hymn? That's a hymn and that's the speed it's played at and that's how it's normally played and everyone dances and bops along to that. And I decided it's so over the top, I will turn it into a nice little prelude, something very subdued in the background. So there we have it. Right, how are we doing? We're still on 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, perfect. Right. Ha, so far so good. Cheers. Mm. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the sooner we get in, you know, the sooner we get this together, then the sooner we get these crazy requests, first of all, out of the way for me, for my brain. And uh, secondly, you know, let's not leave it until midnight, because <laughs> that's uh, yeah. Because then the, the tension will be will be quite a you know will be quite disgraceful. And um, too much tension is definitely not a good thing. Um, I got into trouble recently. I did this with the hymn book. I took it. I opened it, and I broke its back like that. And someone got annoyed at me. I said, well, how else are you supposed to keep the book open? These books are designed to be to be thrown about by old ladies. So <laughs> that's that. Now, request from a friend called Thomas. Hello, Thomas. Thomas, I don't think Thomas has requested anything before. Michael, thank you very much indeed. Michael, very kind indeed. Thank you very much. Eleven. I should be keeping a note of this somewhere, shouldn't I? I should be keeping a note of it. I, it's, I can count. That's easy to do. Right, so our friend Thomas. Thank you very much, Thomas. Very kind of you. I don't think Thomas has requested anything before. And Thomas requested one of my favourite, just normal hymns. And I've played this many, many times, but I love playing it so much. We're going to do it again. And I'm going to turn it into a sort of a, a march um, in the style of Elgar, because that's the kind of thing it is. It's uh, Segne du Maria. I've played this before in this style as well, but this is the kind of thing we do. Wonderful. We need a minimum amount for a ticket so that there is a ticket multiplier. What? You're making this very complicated. A minimum amount for a ticket. Well, ooh. <laughs> um, let's ask Uncle Joe what the minimum amount for the ticket should be. Okay, anyway, let's play a marchy version of this wonderful piece of music. See what you think.
That's a loud one, isn't it? I hope, is that too loud for you, ladies and gentlemen? No, of course not. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Segne du Maria. I love that. I've never played it in the key of D before, but it does work. It's normally in C major where I started out and then I modulated to D at the end there. Sounds good in D, doesn't it? Hmm, sounds good. Sounds good. Yes. Right, how are we doing in the old chit chat there? How much for your ticket? Right, everyone's talking about ticket prices. We've got two more, by the way, so let's see who have we got here. We've got Gunther, thank you very much, Gunther. And we've got Niall, thank you very much, Niall, as well. Wonderful. Good, getting there. 13, right, let's have a little look. <laughs> people are people talking about things in the chat there. How much for a ticket? Well, as much as you want is the simple answer. Now, obviously, if everyone bought a ticket at one euro, first of all, that, ha, 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 we would get our deal done, but... Thanks to PayPal and all its nonsense, um, if, someone's, if someone donates one euro, guess how much I actually get? Um, it's not one euro. Um, if someone donates two euros, I get one euro and 61 cents. I know that for a fact. There you are. If someone donates five, um, I get four euros, uh, what is it, 58 cents or something like that. So they take their cut. There is the option of you, you know, bumping it up so that it ends up at being five. So, for example, someone here just bought a five euro ticket and said, yes, I will pay the fees. It costs you 5.49 and I get five. I think that's the way that works. And then, of course, there are people who do the friends and family thing, which is pretty good because there are no fees at all for friends and family. Just remember that. Think about that. Anyway, never mind. Right. We're not, we're not doing this just for the, that reason, but we're having fun. We're having fun. Who's here tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Let's have a quick look. Vanessa's sadly not with us. She's downstairs keeping an eye on the little one and the doggy. The dog had to have his nose operated on again uh, on Wednesday. Uh, nothing, nothing serious at all. all, all very good and everything's working wonderfully and he's doing fine, but he's a bit snottery. Let's put it like that. So let's leave that. Right, so who's, who's here tonight? Cam is here. Hello, Cam. Jez is here. Hello, Jez. Marek is here. Don is here. Julian is here. Grisha. Hello, Grisha. Uza is here. Uza, did you get my email? Um, <laughs> um, Wolfgang is here. Opus 3 is here. Hello. Mike is here. Hello, Mike. Rasbas is here. Ivy is here. Hello. Gregor is here. Philip is here. Hello, Philip. Philip. Cool name. Uncle Joe is here. Of course, Uncle Joe is here. Um, Uncle Joe. We love Uncle Joe. We love everybody. Alexander Wunderlis is here. Hello. And thank you also for your ticket. He was the first today. Alexander was the first. Wolfgang Koenig. Did I mention Wolfgang yet? I think I may have done. Wolfgang, hello to Munich. Uh, Jürgen Stelzer. Hi, Jürgen. How are you doing? Uh, Adrian Morris. Hello, Adrian Morris. Jeff Ryle is here. I haven't seen Jeff's name yet. Someone's got Jeff in there. So, hello, Jeff. Very good. Jeff to be there. Gregor, we've had Jürgen Stelzer, Mike Gregor. Philip. Philip Augustine. Hello, Philip. Lovely that you are here too. Anto Vima. Hello, Anto Vima. Uh, um, I love that name. Max Huber is here. Hello, Max. Je there's Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Uh, Mike, we've got Mike. Bodenseehorn. Ooh, Bodenseehorn. Something very exciting coming up next week. Is it next week or is it the week after? No, it's the week after, isn't it? Yes. Hold on. Check my diary quickly. It's... Yeah, on the 6th of September. On the 6th of September, it's Bodenseehorn's birthday. And he has requested... And we're going to do it because it's so much fun. He has requested a special silent film live stream. <laughs> and he's going to be celebrating at his place of work with, I don't know, how many people Borden's they on? He says between 20 and 200 people. That sounds kind of cool. And uh, we're going to have a silent film night. And it's all going to be in German, however. There won't be any English. So if you want to learn some German, join us then. That'd be good fun. That'll be good fun. Right, so that's Bodenseehorn. But there'll be more about that coming up soon. Rasbas, we mentioned Rasbas. Hello, hello. Cameratim.com. Hello, Cameratim.com from Down Under. Are we allowed to say Down Under? Is that politically correct these days? Probably not. Do I care? Probably not. Okay, Marcus B is here. Hello, Marcus B. That's very kind. Thank you very much. Marcus B is here. Wonderful, wonderful. Who else is here? Oh, there we are. I wrote that. Gleis van der Hello, Gleis van der I've got, ooh, I've got something coming up for Gleis van der later. Casey is here. Hello, Casey. Casey, 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 Casey. MJWB. Hello, MJWB. Wonderful. Uh, 
As an observation, I cast to my television recently, I have noticed that the organ is at a good volume, but I have to turn up the volume whenever I'm speaking. Well, that's just because the organ's too loud. Simple as that. Okay, uh, how are we doing? My mum is here. Hello, Mater. How are you doing? Larry is here. Hello, Don. I mentioned Don, didn't I? Larry is here. Hello. Kristen is here as well. Hello, Kristen. The entire Platz gang is here tonight. That's good. Ian Walker is here. Hello, Ian. <laughs> Who else have we got tonight? I could just read through this all night, really, until we get the 25 tickets. Julian is here from Shreveport. Hello. That's wonderful. International. John Castle. Hello, John Castle. How are you doing? Ian Lavery. Yes. Still clicking here. And Aaron Schaus is here. Aaron Schaus, forget Bach. I vote for a third tier where you must improvise something snappy and up-tempo in the dreaded E major. What do you think? To be honest, I would rather play all day in E major than play anything at sight from Bach. So, there you have it. Oh my god, yeah. No, I would rather, yeah, E major all day rather than Bach. So, get to that in a minute. Who's there? Mirabilos. Hello, Mirabilos. Very wonderful that you are there too. Brooks. Hello, Brooks. How are you doing? Michael Thielen. We've got Michael as well. Hi, Michael. Lovely that you are there. By the way, if you're thinking of traveling to Herschbach tomorrow to see me play the organ, I won't be there. I'm officially on holiday this weekend. So, there you are. Uh, not that I'm doing anything for it, but we're officially on holiday. So, there we are. Who else have we got? Is that it? Any new people? Let's just zip down here. The Robotic Crafter. Hello, Rick. Rick, Vo is it Voister, Wooster, Voister? Yeah, cool. 25 tickets. Well, if you buy one ticket, then that's one ticket, Rick. So we've had, what do we have, 13, 14, 15. We're up to 15 now. Uh, we've just had Philip. Thank you very much, Philip. And we've had, ah, we've had Galeiswanderer as well. That's very kind as well. And now Wolfgang has just got in as well. So now we are up to, we should be up to 16 now. Is that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 16. We're up to 16. Nine to go, and we've got the first thing going. Right, perfect. Like it. Where were we? Where were we? Hennis. Hello, Hennis Till. Hennis Till is here as well. Ba ba dum bum piddly lady. Have I missed anybody out? Ba ba dum bum piddly lady. Probably. I do apologize if I have. Yellowbird is here. Hello, Yellowbird. Oh, thank you for your bizarre request. I'll play that later. A very strange request from, uh, from Yellowbird tonight. Very cool. Philip Powell, hello. What sample set has been used this evening? It's Billerbeck, one of my favorites. Billerbeck from Sonos Paradisi. It's wonderful. Rasbaz is saying no. And I wonder why Rasbaz is saying no. I didn't catch that, what that's all about. Right. There we are. Right. People buy more tickets. Right, Marek. Well, thank you very much. You, you, you push them on, Marek. That's good. There was a donation in the chat as well. Ah, it's not a ticket. Not a ticket. Are we counting that? It's difficult to keep an eye on that. Shall we count it? The problem with those things is these donations in the chat are very wonderful, and I'm very grateful to all of you for it, but 30% of that goes straight to Google. Yeah. Hmm, lovely. <laughs> Shall we count it? We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll make that a 0.5, all right? So we're at 16 and a half. There we are. <laughs> we're at 16 and a half. Right, on with the music. Actually, let's play that crazy piece by our friend Yellowbird, because it's rather cool. Now, let me get back over here. Have I put it in here? I'm not sure if I've put it in here yet. Oh, for heaven's sake, this stupid thing. Uh, no, it's not in there yet. Right, so where is it? It must be in the emails, in the emails. What's that? Do I need that? Nope. Right. Here we go. Um, open with that. And it will sort of disappear in here. Come on. I love this if these things would work. Synchronize. Is it going to synchronize? Yes, it's synchronizing. Click, and there it is. Right. From 1903, a bizarre piece of music. Words by Harry Breen, music by T. Mayo Geary. And that's a cool name, isn't it? T. Mayo Geary. Hello, are you Mayo Geary? I don't know. I think I might be. Da da dee dum dum dee dum bum ba dum bum bum. It's a waltz. We like waltzes. That's as cute. So let's have a nice little waltz here. And this is uh, I Wish the Band Would Play. Don't know it, but it looks like the kind of stuff that we could definitely be a sight reading. This is the kind of stuff I love sight reading because it's not J.S. Bach. <laughs>
I wish the band would play. I love it. That's cool. I love it. See, things like that are easy to sight read. You have a melody and you have an accompaniment based on chords, but the kind of music, you know what's coming. I didn't know what was coming, which is why I messed up the first time I played it through, because I thought it was going to do something else. What it should have done, what most waltzes would always do, they go like this. And that's kind of what it did. And then... That's all fairly obvious, but this bit is not obvious. What would normally That's what would normally happen, yeah? But it doesn't do that. It does. That's not what you expect. Then the end is. Which is easy peasy. Um, somebody recently commented on my tempo when I was playing. Um, I used to play for dancing. And when you play for dancing, you must never speed up, never slow down and never take a break. Um, I had to slow down in that because the music tells you to. But if you're playing for dancers, then you must stick to a very strict tempo. You have to have a sort of inbuilt metronome. Yeah, tickets please, tickets please. Next stop, St. Pancras. Gosh, how are we doing that? We've had one more. Right, who did? One more. And it was... It's... Brian. Thank you, Brian. Very kind of you indeed. Thank you, Brian. Wonderful. Thank you, Brian. The life of Brian. Are we allowed to make... No, we're not. We're not. But we will. Fun, fun, fun. Right, it's 2300 hours, ladies and gentlemen. Just to let you know, we've got an hour left to go. I think we're safe from the evil world of Bach tonight, which is good. So, ah, that's good. I can relax a little bit. However, that doesn't mean I have to relax because I don't know what's coming at 25. Oh my goodness, this is another... It's number 31 tonight, isn't it? Um, Glass van der 31, is that correct? I think it's number 31, isn't it? Yes, it is. 31. St Pancras, by the way, in London these days is just a very, very fancy hotel. Um, that wonderful old building, um, well, it's flats and hotels and things like that. Wonderful old building. Oh, this is a march as well. Ja, Musterstürm. Mm. Mm. Excuse me. A little fly just threw, flew into my mouth. That's not very pleasant. Pa. Yeah. I need a top up. Tasty beverage time, people. Tasty beverage time. Tasty beverage time. Here we go. Right. Eifa für Jehovah's House. All right. So we're getting excited about Jehovah's House, apparently. So there you are. Um, and this again is a march. Oh, we're in march mood tonight. I like marches. Oh, damn it. I forgot to press record at the beginning of this evening's concert. Was there anything worth recording so far? I'm sure there was. Let's start recording now so that we can keep... I'm recording every stream we do so that I've got all these things for later. Right.
I love that kind of thing. And apparently it should be that fast as well, according to Gleis van der Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Right. Another tick from Jürgen. Thank you very much indeed, Jürgen. Another Jürgen. So how many are we up to now? Are we 16 or 17 now? 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18. We're at 18, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's good. Let me just double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18. Right. Seven to go for the fun stuff. I need to find out what's happening. Vanessa needs to tell me what it's going to be. Or maybe not. We've got time. <gasps> At least we're not going to have to do Bach tonight. So I'm very happy about that. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for saving my sanity. Ah, oh, that's good. Really good. Really good indeed. Right. What else do we have on our list of goodies here? Uh, we have lists of things to play. And what's it? Oh my goodness me. Oh, that. Oh God. That's definitely one for the list. Uh, that's not sight readable at sight like this. I hope that's not on the list for tonight. Someone requested. Um, it's actually very cute. It's not sight readable though, really. Um, a beautiful piece of music by Vaughan Williams. This was Dave. Hello, Dave. Not sight readable, definitely not sight readable, but it's uh, beautiful. And Rosie Medre, it's one of these, Von Williams wrote three um, sort of chorale prelude kind of things on Welsh hymn tunes. On, he wrote them on, what was the first one? Bryn Calfaria, which is an absolutely magnificent tune. Da -da 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 -de 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 -de. That's actually, that's such a good tune. Let's dig that out. Where's my English hymnal? That's such a good tune. We're going to play that. I'm going to dedicate this to Jez, because Jez and his Welsh stuff, we love that. Bryn. Bryn Calfaria. We played this not that long ago, I think, as far as I remember, didn't we? Is it in here? Yes, of course it is. 296. La -da -da -da. Ah, there it is. <laughs> and this is one of them. Sorry, so Vaughan Williams did um, that one. He did Rosie Medro, which is rather lovely, and he did Hifridol as well, which we all know. But I, my favourite one is this one, actually. Uh, not of the Vaughan Williams, is 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 because they're bloody difficult. I'll practice that, Dave. That's a promise. Okay. This, however, is fun. This is definitely fun. One of my favourite ones. Nobody plays this melody, which I don't think. Lord enthroned in heavenly splendour. Now, everybody normally knows this one. Blah, 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 blah. However, it can be much more menacing than this. Now, Lord, and th Lord enthroned in heavenly splendor sounds so wonderful, but imagine we turn it into a sort of more Game of Thrones kind of thing and you get this.
Isn't that a cracker? There's that lovely bit. Lux Gamer Forever. Scotsman playing Welsh tunes. Is that even league? Yes, of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? We're all international. Gene Roddenberry. Yes. We're all, you know, in this day and age, nowadays, I, I, I'm really beginning to wonder about the human race. We're, the, we're spending so much time thinking about how we should address each other, we're forgetting that we're actually just all human beings. And we're all the same. <sighs> I, I, I shake my head at the world. Glenn Roddenberry. Glenn, Glenn, it was Glenn Roddenberry, wasn't it? What was his name? Um, Jeff Roddenberry. No, the, your man from Star Trek. He had the right idea. All around the universe. We're all just living, breathing species. Well, maybe we aren't in other parts of the universe, but who knows? Um, I wasn't there. I don't know Gene Roddenberry. That's his name. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting old. But yeah, yeah, there are bigger, bigger, bigger problems in the world than how I should address you. <laughs> somebody, somebody actually asked me not that long ago, and I was really rather amazed. I, I didn't think that this kind of crap had come to Germany, but it did. It arrived, and somebody asked, how would you like to be addressed? And I thought, well, that's a perfectly sensible question. So I said, your majesty. That's how I would like to be addressed. So, yes, yeah, so please just address me as your majesty. And you know the embarrassing thing? They did. I don't know. Anyway, never mind. The world is a strange place, ladies and gentlemen, and we all have to live in it. However, as long as we have the power of... As long as we have the power of music, who cares about anything else? That's what I say. Play music, be happy. And if you can't do that, then just go and live in a cave somewhere. <laughs> Go and live in a cave somewhere. Right, how are we doing? Right, that was that. That was a surprise one. That wasn't what I was going to be doing. I was going to be playing something else. What was I going to be playing? There was something else coming up. I'm confusing myself. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. That's what it was going to be, but I, I'm not going to because that's kind of difficult to do that. Now, we started with Beethoven's Turkish March. which is a wonderful old piece of music that always reminds me of my old friend Carlo Curley. Remember Carlo Curley? Wonderful old, uh, wonderful old organist, sadly no longer with us. Very much the sort of the offspring of Virgil Fox. He was literally offspring of Virgil Fox. Not literally, literally, but you know what I mean. Ah! <laughs> Who dis? Someone, oh that's, ah, someone bought a ticket on the other PayPal account. Does that count? Yeah, well let that one count. Who was this? Who was this? Ah, this was Uwe. Thank you, Uwe. That's the wrong account, Uwe, but that's fine. That's, the, that's, that's fine. That's fine. That counts. So we add one to that. So where were we? I've forgotten. Was it 18? It was 18, wasn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15, 6, 7, 18. So that's 19. Right, 6 to go and 45 minutes. Mike King, Mike King, PayPal still playing up. Mike King says that on a regular basis. Well, there are other options, Mike. Don't worry about it, Mike. You do what you have to do, and don't worry about it. We'll get there. We'll get there, slowly. Someone buy a ticket for Mike. There you are. How about that? Um, Carlo Curley. Larger than life. Very much larger than life. And uh, sadly no longer with us. And he always used to play in his concerts. He would play the Turkish mark. And he had the most amazing fingering technique for that. Those thirds. He did something, that's what he did. That's what he did. It's very difficult to do in that key. Thirds are easier in other keys. If it was in this key, that would be dead easy to do, yeah? That's easy peasy to do thirds in other keys, but in that key, it wasn't very easy at all. So, there you are. Vergesst das halbe nicht. Oh, all right, yes, we've got half a ticket as well. Ah. <sighs> How we're doing over there? Good. Right. Anything? Am I missing anything? Let's see if we're missing any extras over here. I don't think we are. I don't think we are. Right. That was Dave. That was that. That was that. Oh, by the way, Jeff, thank you very much for your um, for your email the other day with your your um, your 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 dad's um, where is it? There it is. Your dad's diary entries. It's rather fascinating, actually. So thank you very much for that. 
Thank you very much for that. Oh, and also, uh, thank you also to um, Xing Chang Chong. Is Xing Chang Chong here tonight? I didn't see him in the chat yet. Is Xing Chang Chong here tonight? Yes, he is. There he is. Hello. Did you just arrive? Yes, I think he just arrived. Good. He sent us some more pictures. Um, now, unfortunately, I don't think I can get them in. Uh, can I get them in? Yes. Well, no, I think I can. Aha, Nancy is here. Hello, Nancy. And Nancy has a ticket. Right, so that's it. We're up to 1890. Is that 20 now? Must be. Okay. Look at this. This is rather beautiful. I'm going to pop one of these. Let me see if I can do this. Can I do this? Can I do this? I think I can. Let me just pop this. Oh, no, I, I know how to do this. Technology, ladies and gents. If I download it to there, that makes it easier. Then I click here. Then I click here. Then I click here. This is why everybody needs a Vanessa, people. This is why we need a Vanessa. This is rather beautiful, though. A friend, Ching Chang Chong, is very talented, and uh, he does sort of sort of arty farty kind of stuff. And this is rather beautiful. Check this out. Um, if I now press, hold on, if I, oh, I have to get rid of this, um, let's get rid of that finally, and then I press this, what you see this, this is rather beautiful, this is Xing Chang Chong's latest piece of Asian art, check that out, isn't that beautiful, isn't that lovely, I, I think that's absolutely delightful, I really do, I think that's very beautiful, very talented young man, he made his own ocarina as well, out of a piece of wood, as one would. But rather beautiful. But I love the artwork. Um, um, he came along to the church service recently in Hirschbach. And I, I said to him, I said, oh, we haven't seen any of your artwork for a long time. And he said he hadn't been doing any artwork for a long time. So that obviously then spurred him on to creating some rather beautiful pictures there. And I particularly like the, it's a robin red breast, isn't it? It's a little red-breasted robin, which is rather cute. On now, whatever kind of tree that is, I'm not very good. I would have to ask Vanessa that. Vanessa's, Vanessa's the one into her biological stuff. Isn't that beautiful? So thank you very much. I think that's rather wonderful. Um, right, I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to change the picture, okay? I'm going to change that other picture because it's obvious we're not going to get anywhere near 50 tonight. Thank God. So I'll put up that one. There we are. Perfect. How about that? How about that? Wonderful. So, there we are. Thank you very much. I th what do you think of Xing Chang Shong's art? Let's have a look in the old chit chat now. What do we think? Very beautiful. It is indeed very beautiful. Very beautiful indeed. Yes, yes, yes. Isn't it lovely? Yes, you are. So wonderful. We're very talented people, the Gacho gang, aren't we? We're all good at something. It's good. Mm. Ah. Ah, right. 20 past 11, ladies and gentlemen, and... We're getting there. Matt Leach. Can we make hope for clones of Vanessa? Well, that would be cool. Hello, Matt. How are you doing, Matt? Matt, we're on a secret mission tonight to, um, well, a secret mission to, to taunt me into sight reading something unplayable. That's the plan anyway. So um, we're getting there. Let me recount just to make sure because I've forgotten. My brain is so stupid. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19. Six to go. Six tickets to go. Six tickets, six briquettes, ticks to go. And something will be played. If we don't get the six, I'm not playing it. No sight reading for me. Or no naughty sight reading for me. No, I did that. I did that. Where am I now? I'm losing my place. Here we are. I'm losing my place. Uh, there it is. Oh, damn. I just had it there. Now, not Thomas, but someone called Robert. Someone called Robert requested this little number. And uh, this is, again, one of those bizarre pieces of music that you can go bananas with. In the English hymnal, the ones you go bananas with are the Welsh hymns, yeah? You go bananas with the Welsh hymns. But in the German hymnal, there are some that they are so good they could be Welsh, yeah? That's how good they are. This is one of them. It's number 411. It's called Erde Singe. Das ist Klinge, laut und stark, dein Jubellied. It's a sort of, you would do it for the glory, ah, that kind of stuff. Um, you would go for that kind of stuff. Gleiswanderer, you're correct, it's 20, because there was one on the other PayPal account, so we're at 25 to go. Well, four and a half, theoretically, but I don't know who's going to buy the half, so anyway, there you are. All right, here we go. Erde Singe. Get your partners, please, for a St. Bernard Waltz. No, no, definitely not.
I love that. And what I love about that is that the way, you, normally, that's not the way normally people play it. They play something like that. And that just sounds so cute, doesn't it? It's a little sort of, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a I don't know, sort of a, um, an Austrian powdered wig waltz. Yeah, it's it is kind of nice, but you don't do that. I turn it into Rager, Max Rager, a very bad-tempered, fat, arrogant German composer. Those were his own words, not mine. But you turn it into... You do lots of diminished chords. Yeah. <laughs> this is a Rager year, apparently. Wouldn't it be awful if something from Rager appeared in my list for tonight? <gasps> that would not be good. Right, we were at 20 and a half, 21, 22. Ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> no way! Jez! Jez met up with one of the most famous boogie-woogie players in the world at St Pancras. Oh, Jez, email, tell me all about it. I need to know. And Kristin, hello, Kristin Platz. Kristin Platz, a ticket as well. That's very kind of you, thank you very much. Right, so we're definitely getting there. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So we're at 23. Two to go, ladies and gentlemen. Two to go. Two to go. Two to go. Can we do two? We can do two. Definitely do two. Definitely do two. Someone said something about Steptoe. That was Jeff, wasn't it? Steptoe and Son, a wonderful program from the 1960s and 70s, uh, Great Britain, um, about a rag and bone company, father and son. What are rag and bone men? Well, basically sort of um, scrap collectors. And they would go around, where were they? Where were they based? Where were they based? Um, they were based in West London, down by the prison, wasn't it? That's where they were based. And um, yeah, they're a wonderful sort of father and son tales. The father was very down to earth and didn't want to sort of you know, it was quite happy being incredibly working class. But the son thought he was better and wanted to get out into the world and put on his airs and graces. He probably wanted to be addressed with his majesty as well. Anyway, so there we are. So the theme tune, theme tune was one of the most wonderful theme tunes ever. It's just such a wonderful thing. It was West, Shepherd's Bush, was it Shepherd's Bush? What's the name of that prison out there? Was it, they were near the prison, weren't they? Was it Shepherd's Bush? Probably was. Anyway, right. Uh, you, you dirty old man. Yes, Jez M, that's right. And it was um, Matthew, 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 Matthew. What was his name? Damn it. Can't remember now. Corbett. No, no, Har no. Was it, oh, it wasn't Matthew Corbett. That was, that was Sooty. It was Harry Corbett, wasn't it? Anyway, no, Harry. Oh, God, what was his name? I can't remember. I'm so old and I've been away from the UK for so long. Come on, tell me who they were. Tell me who they were. You dirty old man. And uh, it was, that's basically because the, the father was just basically a dirty old man. Winf Winfred Bramble, wasn't it? That was, he was, that was him. Actually, this will be one for Aaron Schaus, because the melody was actually played, picked on a banjo.
the Steptoe and Son themes. There you are, you got them all. Wilfred Bramble. Yes, 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 yes. Um, and it was Harry H. Corbett. Wonderful. Wilfred Bramble was the dad. And he actually, Wilfred Bramble, was actually a very posh art actor. 24, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Peter. Peter, very kind of you. Thank you very much indeed. 24. Right, one more, and then I'm in. I'm in the money. I'm in. No, I'm in the trouble. Sorry. <laughs> money? Sorry, did I say that? No, I didn't. Yeah. Ah. Let's do an evening of television theme tunes. <gasps> who's, who's up for an evening? Thumbs up if you're, in, if you're up for an evening of television theme tunes. It's going to be copyright hell, I know, but it'd be good fun. Shall we do that? Shall we do that? Let's do an evening of film. Not film, but television. Television theme tunes. Yeah, who's, who's up for that? Thumbs up in the chat if you're up for that kind of thing. Yeah, uh, no, that's, 20, that's 24 including the other one. That's, no, it's 23 including the other one now, isn't it? Or is it 24? Oh, damn it. You're confusing me, people. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 20, 20, oh, damn it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 21, 22, 23, it's 24. 24. It's 24 with the other one. Right, one ticket to go, ladies and gentlemen. Damn it, and I have to play something, something difficult. Yeah, who fancies TV themes? There we are. Da -da -da -da. We have to do, because you get. That's one of my favorite theme tunes, although we never made it to the UK. Never, I don't think, did Green Gables ever make it to the UK? I don't think so. Um, but yeah, we could have so much fun with that. Send your request on a postcard, please. Will, oh, Jeff. I think Jeff's been at the rum again. Will they be international themes? Yeah, why not? Why not? International themes are always good. One more to go, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, one more to go. Here we go. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tick tock. Ah. Ah, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, 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 wow. Exciting stuff. Now, while we're, while we're waiting for that final ticket, um, I'm bracing myself for the, whatever the hell is going to come. Excuse me, <laughs> I was going to shout at Vanessa, hold on. Sorry, <laughs> there we are, right. Um, du kannst diese Sonderwunsch schon vorbereiten, wir sind nur noch ein Ticket. All right, no response from downstairs, I don't know if she heard that, I'm sure she will, we'll work it out. I'm sure we'll work it out. Tasty, tasty. Yeah, definitely tasty. Yes, Green Acres made it to the UK. Did it? I didn't know that. Well, there you are. There you are. Obviously before my time. I'm so young. Um, what was I going to say? Yes, no, we're, um, we're, um, we're expanding, ladies and gentlemen. We're expanding. I'm not sure we really want to, but we're going to expand. And um, ticket bought. Bodenseehorn. Right, I see. It's not in yet. <gasps> there it is. Oh, two. <gasps> right. Stefan. Thank you, Stefan. And thank you to... Bodenseehorn as well, that's it. Right, we're at 26. <gasps> 26. We're over the amount now, ladies and gentlemen. So there we go, we've done it. We're over the amount. Okay, can't shake me. Okay. Um, we're over the amount. Yes, we're expanding. And we're expanding back into the evil world of, wait for it, Facebook. However, not personally, not privately, no. We're doing a Garchor gang group on Facebook. Facebook. Uh, details to come very soon. I'm not going to be taking charge of it myself because I want nothing to do with it, really. I don't particularly like Facebook, but I know that it's very useful for spreading the word. And it's good for you because it means you can post your stuff on there as well. We can all get to hear what you're up to. And we can be very sort of friendly and nice to each other on there. And spread the word and grow the Gartrell gang and get more people on our streams, more people watching videos, more fun for everybody and more, yes, in incentive to move forwards. So that's coming, that's coming, that's coming, that's coming. That's coming. Right. Okay. Yeah, I know not Facebook. Discord? Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not 10. Um, no, 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 no. It has to be international and it has to be something that everybody's involved with. It's an experiment. Let's put it like that. Okay. It's an experiment. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> let's have a look. Sent to my iPad for this evening in a, it's not there yet. All right, okay. Do, 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 do. It's not there yet, it's not there yet. Compass. Well, 
We've got two banjo players in the audience, ladies and gentlemen. That's worrying. Aaron Showers is a banjo player. At least he has a banjo hanging on his wall. That's bad enough. Um, um, and Matt Leach has just announced that he plays the banjo as well. Yes, well, all I'm going to say about the banjo is... That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah, look, I'm not happy about Facebook either, but, ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's an international thing for... Seriously? Okay, someone in the audience is going to be very happy when they find out what this piece of music is. Oh, okay. Damn it. Um, someone's going to be very happy when they find, find out about this. Discord is something in between Skype and WhatsApp. Does Mrs. Gartrell play any music herself? Actually. No, actually. She doesn't. Okay. Anyway, never mind. We're going to play around with it. So just leave it, all right? Don't, 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 get, don't get your knickers in a twist, everybody. We're going to... Um, we're going to... Uh, we're going to talk about it and work it out. We need to expand a little bit. And we need to expand globally. And we need to expand um, with as much reach as possible. And the suggestions were... Right. One of you in the audience is going to recognize that picture. One of you is going to recognize that picture. Oh, hold on a minute. I think, I'm, I'm, I'm not cheating here, I'm not cheating, but I know, because this piece of music has been on the list for a very long time. A very, very long time. And actually, I think I have work, I think I have registrations for it. For this actual organ. And this is not me cheating, I just think I do. There they are. Do they, but are they correct? That's the question. <gasps> We'll have to find out, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, social media is something I want nothing to do with. YouTube is the only social media I have at the moment. I want nothing to do with any of it, but that's the problem. We need to expand. So we're open to suggestions, but we're open to sensible suggestions that will be good for the masses. Put it like that. We're not going to do any sort of exclusive stuff for a few people. Right, anyway, hmm. Cameron Platts, you might recognize that picture. Cameron Platts, do you recognize that? Do you recognize that, Cameron Platts? I'm sure you do. Right, Cam, I think you need to tell us the story behind this. This is a piece of music that Cameron Platts has been requesting since I've known him. Cam got in touch years ago. We hadn't really gotten to know each other yet and requested this piece of music and there's a personal connection to it yes Cameron Platts oh my god yeah there's a personal connection um, between Mr Platts and this piece of music here and I promised to him all those years ago that I would get round to learning this piece of music at some point and I actually sat down and I registered it on this actual organ that's I did honestly did and I had to do it on this organ because this organ has bells, and this piece of music requires bells because the title of the piece of music is, <clears throat> are you ready? The Bells of St. Anne de Beaupré, which is obviously a church up in Canada, eh? Um, which, <laughs> which is, I think it's somewhere over in Quebec, isn't it? I'm not terribly sure. Um, eh? um, and this is, um, it's out in a boat in Quebec, somewhere over there, eh? and Cam has, like I said, been requesting this piece since the beginning of time. Uh, he even sent me the music many years ago, and there was a, there, there was a page, wasn't there? There was a page, um, there was a double page in it, and I said, oh, one of the pages is double, and sort of brushed it off and forgot about it. And then months later, he said, oh, look, here's the, here's the real version. Or I found the real version. I think I found the real version. And so on and so on and so on. And, uh, yeah, this, this piece of music has been on the list for a very, very long time. So I'm, I suspect this is why Vanessa has chosen it. Cam, have you anything to do with this? Have you been speaking to Vanessa in the background? Hmm. Anyway, right. Now, this is sight reading, ladies and gentlemen. However, I should have registrations for it. So let me just make sure that I have sort of rough ideas of what's going on. That looks like that's coming up there. That's there. Ah, okay, that's that, good. Okay, right, what's coming next? That's, oh God, that's that. <gasps> 
okay, this is left hand hell, this piece of music. Oh my goodness, and yes, oh, that's a point actually. I'm gonna show you this one from above, I think. We'll do this with the split screen, so you can see, because it's got lots of playing some notes here, but also the bells are somewhere else. Right, now that's moving on there. That's louder, 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 and then it should be getting very loud up to, oh my God, up to where? Up to number nine. That looks very loud. Yeah, that looks about right. And then it stays loud, <gasps> very loud, until we get to the end, when it, that doesn't look right, unless it means that. Yeah, it could mean, ah, okay, that means that. Ah, okay, that means that, uh, which means I have to go up there. Yep, that's fine. That's that again. Ooh, what's that? What's that? Oh, okay, fourth manual, right, okay, good. And then we end there, is that right? We end there, and we, I'm guessing we end all the way there. Oh, lovely. Right, this could be fun, ladies and gentlemen. Gosh, crisis management. Yes, crisis, no, I want to get this right, because I've been promising camera in this one for a year, so I want to get it right. Okay, in my favor, it's very slow. Um, in my favor, it's in one of my favorite keys. It's a sort of something between F minor, A flat feel, but it's sort of, goes all, all over the place, all over the place, yeah? All over the place. And um, yeah, this will be exciting. <gasps> right, ladies and gentlemen, from uh, a guy called Alexander Russell. Alexander Russell, he was one of the guys at Wanamaker Organ, wasn't he? Alexander Russell. Um, St. Lawrence Sketches. All right, so we're talking up on the St. Lawrence River, obviously. These pieces of music, this was written in 1920, sorry. What's that for? <gasps> That's for that, okay. Okay, um, uh, written in 1921. Uh, it says British copyright secured. I wonder why British copyright? What about international copyright? Anyway, slowly and then with religious fervor. So let's see if I can get some religious fervor going here. I present the bells of St. Anne de Beaupre on the wonderful organ of Billebec for my wonderful friend and brother Cameron Platts. Here we go.
That, ladies and gentlemen, was roughly the St. Anne de Beaupré Bells Thereof. Um, a magnificently fun piece of music. Um, that's I'm going to sit down and learn that properly now because that really is that really is fun. I particularly love that that diffi difficult. It's very difficult to do this. Um, you've got this beautiful melody. Where is it? There it is. Vox humana and strings. I need to find a different organ to do this on because this is, should be accompanied with a harp. And then you've got your thumb, pom, 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 for this. But all the while, while that's going on, your left hand is. Doing arpeggios, ooh, left hand arpeggios. They need practicing. Um, so there you are, my goodness. I can't believe that we finally played that. And my iPad was, of course, buggering it up in the middle. It wasn't turning pages for me. There's always something to blame it on, isn't there? But it's all switched on. It should have been doing it, but it wasn't. Wow. There we have it. What a wonderful piece of music. So it was. It was definitely worth the tickets. We've had one more since then as well. A virtual thank you from Marcus. Thank you very much, Marcus. That's very kind indeed. So we hit 20, what was that, 27 or 20, 27 now, I think. Is that right? 26, 27, maybe even 28 now. Can't remember. And, ladies and gentlemen, the most important thing has happened. We have rendered Cameron Platts speechless. That is something that he normally does to me. So now we've turned the, turned the tables and we've rendered him speechless. Cameron, it's a wonderful piece of music. It really is a wonderful piece of music. So uh, I'm definitely going to be... Um, definitely going to be practicing that, getting it done properly. And I think... I oh, need to see if we can find... Do I have an organ that has a... Now, do I have an organ that has a little sort of harpy thing? Obviously, the theatre organ does, but we're not doing it on a theatre organ. That wouldn't sound, that wouldn't sound so good for that. More than three fingers required. Yes, that's very true. We need a lot more than three fingers for this. Wonderful stuff. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. We're getting close to midnight. I think we'll, we'll have a. Ah, that was a bit of brain work for me. Yes, so having to sight read that. That's a, not an easy piece of music. Um, I saw, actually, Vanessa had not just that. She had several more pieces by this guy. There's a whole suite of pieces, apparently, uh, by this dude. Um, there's another one. This looks oh, it's a slightly different color uh, thing, but it's called The Song of the Basket Weaver, the St. Lawrence Sketches, number three. Uh, that looks rather cool, actually. It's got, it's, oh, nice. oh, it's got sort of waltzy rhythms. A basket weaver. It's got lots of de liddy 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 things going on. I think this might be the kind of music that we need to sort of sit and have a look at. This is the kind of stuff that Jerry Martin would like as well. Jerry likes kind of music that's sort of different and that nobody else plays, which is rather, rather good. Rather good indeed. So yeah, wow, thank you. Well, there you are, Cam. Finally, we got round to doing your St. Anne, uh, the bells of St. Anne. That's wonderful. I love it. And thank you all, ladies and gentlemen, for your tickets this evening. Thank you also for not buying 50 tickets, which means I didn't have to play Bach. I wonder what the Bach would have been. Is, uh, Vanessa won't tell me. I asked her secretly. That's why I had my microphone off at the beginning there. I asked her secretly. She wouldn't tell me what the Bach is, so we'll be saving that for next time, maybe. Um, but yeah, that's good. So what do you think of this idea? Secret, the secret, um, secret requests? I quite like that. I quite like it. If that's the kind of thing that's in the secret request, I have a feeling I know what else is in there. So I think I might, this could spur me into doing a little bit of secret practice in the background, because I think I know what else is in there. There's a name on that uh, ticket list there, which just got me thinking in there, got me thinking in there that there's, um, there's definitely something secret in there from him, because he's been requesting something for years as well. So that's something I will sim sim uh, look at. A trio sonata says, Jez, no chance. Absolutely no chance whatsoever. Um, there are certain pieces of music, I've told Vanessa, certain pieces of music that will not be included in the Bach list. All of the trio sonatas will definitely not be included in there. Um, and things like, things like... <laughs> Things like the great G minor, that will definitely not be there. That's, I absolutely refuse to play. That's correct, yeah. That one. Um, definitely not. Definitely not. Other things I absolutely refuse to play, pretty much anything by Rega. Rega. Rega is just a big, Rega is just a big. Diminished. 
It's just diminished chords and then minus chord, uh, minor chords, and that's about it. It's pathetic. Pathetic, yes. But anyway, I'm not sure. We will definitely go with that. I think to finish off this evening, we'll play something Scottish. I'm in the mood to play something Scottish. And uh, I'm going to play something soft and gentle to close off this evening's concert. Oh, I was going to say, those are my other registrations. So let's sort that. Let's get them away. Off and back and back and my favourite registration of them all. Thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know those pieces. Too hard? Well, yeah, right. You play them then. <laughs> Kick, stick to the key of A flat. See if you know what this is.
Night night everybody. That was fun tonight. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. <sighs> Thank you all very much for your generosity as well. Very, very kind indeed. And I look forward... Ah! I didn't spot the coffees on the way past. Thank you very much indeed for the coffees on the way past too. What's going on here? Ah, something completely different. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being part of our audience this evening. I wish you a very pleasant start to the weekend, and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday night. We won't be doing TV themes on Sunday night, but we will definitely be doing some fancy stuff on Sunday night. Don't forget, it's the last Sunday of the month. What do we do on the last Sunday of the month? Hymns from around the world. If you have any suggestions, any requests, send them to... Someone put it in the chat. Gang at Gartshaw D.E. See you all then. Bye-bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.